ICT NCERT presents audiobook Mathematics for Economics. Page 22. Module 5. Equation of a straight line. 5.1. Intercepts of a straight line. Any straight line intersects with at least one of the axes. The y-coordinate of the point of intersection of a straight line with the y-axis is called y-intercept of the line, whereas x-coordinate of the point of intersection of a straight line with the x-axis is called x-intercept of the line. Since the x-coordinate of y-axis is zero, therefore, the x-coordinate of the point of intersection of a straight line with y-axis must also be zero. Similarly, the y-coordinate of the point of intersection of a straight line with x-axis must also be zero. Method to find intercepts of a line 1. Put x is equal to zero in the equation of the line and the value of y which then satisfies the equation is nothing but y intercept 2 put y is equal to 0 in the equation of the line and the value of x which then satisfies the equation is nothing but x intercept for example in order to find the y intercept of the x plus 3y is equal to 2 we put x is equal to 0 in the equation the equation is then satisfied only if y is equal to 2 by 3 making plus 2 by 3 the y intercept of x plus 3y is equal to 2. To find the x intercept we put y is equal to 0 in the equation which is then satisfied only if x is equal to 2 making plus 2 the x intercept of x plus 3y is equal to 2. Note that if a line is parallel to either axis then it cannot intersect that axis. Therefore, a vertical line parallel to y-axis has no y-intercept. Similarly, a horizontal line parallel to x-axis has no x-intercept. The y-intercept of a line may either be positive, negative or zero. 1. If y-intercept is positive, then the line cuts the positive side of y-axis. For example, figure 10b represents positive y-intercept of the line x plus 3y equals 2. 2. If y-intercept is negative, then the line cuts the negative side of y-axis. For example, figure 10a represents negative y-intercept of the line y minus x equals minus 1. If we put x equals 0 in the equation, we get y equals minus 1, which is nothing but the y-intercept. 3. If y-intercept is 0, then the line passes through the origin. This is because when x equals 0, then y equals 0 satisfies the equation, making 0, 0, 1 point on the line. This implies that x-intercept must also be zero in this case. Since slope and y-intercept could be of either signs, there are many combinations possible as represented in figure 13. Figure 13. Slope and y-intercepts. Page 23. This graph represents a positive slope. The positive y-intercept is represented by a line along the points minus 1, 0, 0, 1. And the equation is y minus x equals 1. B. This graph represents a positive slope, which is the 0 y-intercept along the points 0, 0. The equation is y minus x equals 0. C. This graph represents a positive slope, which is the negative y-intercept, along the points 0, 1, 1, 0. 
the equation is y minus x equals minus 1. D. This graph represents a negative slope which is the positive y-intercept along the points 0, 1, 1, 0 and the equation is y plus x equals 1. E. This graph represents the negative slope for the graph 0y-intercept along the point 0, 0. y plus x equals 0. F. This graph represents the negative slope of the negative y-intercept along the points 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. The equation it represents is y plus x equals minus 1. If any two lines have the same slope but different y-intercept, then such lines are parallel to each other. For example, consider the lines y equals x and y equals x minus 2. These are parallel lines since slope is 2 for both the lines, but intercepts are different. Graphs can be drawn for both these lines based on a table. This table has 10 columns and 3 rows. The first row denotes the values for x. Row 1 Blank Minus 2 Minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 Blank Row 2 denotes the values for y equals x. Blank Minus 2 Minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 Blank Row 3 denotes the values for y equals x minus 2. Blank. Minus 4. Minus 3. Minus 2. Minus 1. 0. 1. 2. Blank. Figure 14. Slope of parallel lines. Page 24. Note that the y-intercept is 0 for the first line and minus 2 for the second line as represented in the column with x is equal to 0. Note that the vertical or horizontal distance remains constant between these two lines as indicated in figure 14. This happens because for any given run, which is movement in the direction of x-axis, the change in height or rise along both the lines is same owing to the same slope. This keeps the vertical distance between the two lines fixed. Consider the example of the budget line given in section 4.2 and 4.3. What are the intercepts of budget equations 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 10 and x1 plus x2 is equal to 10? Can you identify them? The y-coordinate of the point of intersection of the budget line with the y-axis is called the y-intercept of the budget line and the x-coordinate of the point of intersection of the budget line with the x-axis is called the x-intercept of the budget line. For budget line 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 10, the x-intercept is 5,0 and y-intercept is 0, 10. For this, you can refer to figure 9. For budget line, x1 plus x2 is equal to 10. The x-intercept is 10, 0 and y-intercept is 0, 10. For this, you can refer to figure 12. The x-intercept of the budget line represents the bundle that the consumer can buy if she spends her entire income on good one, whereas the y-intercept represents the bundle that the consumer can buy if she spends her entire income on good two. 5.2 General Form of Equation of a Straight Line The general equation of a straight line is of the following form. 
a x plus b y plus c equals 0. Note that right hand side of this general form is 0. Here a, b and c are some real numbers called the coefficients of the equation with one condition that at least one of a or b must be non-zero. c is the constant term of this general form of a line. For example, 1. If a equals 1, b equals minus 2 and c equals 5, then the equation of the straight line becomes x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. 2. If a equals 0, b equals 1 and c equals 0, then the equation becomes y is equal to 0. 3. If a equals 1, b equals 0 and c equals minus 3, then the equation becomes x minus 3 is equal to 0. Suppose x1, y1 and x2, y2 are any two points on the line ax plus by plus c equals 0. This implies that x1, y1 and x2, y2 are two solutions of the linear equation ax plus by plus c equals 0. Which means that Page 25 Equation 1 ax1 plus by1 plus c equals 0. Equation 2 a x2 plus b y2 plus c equals 0. Subtracting equation 1 from equation 2, we get a within brackets x2 minus x1 plus b within brackets y2 minus y1 equals 0. This would further mean b within brackets y2 minus y1 is equal to minus a within brackets x2 minus x1. Assuming that b is not equal to 0, we would get within brackets y2 minus y1 divided by within brackets x2 minus x1, which is equal to delta y by delta x, which is equal to minus a by b. The last expression is the ratio of the change in value of the y coordinate to the change in value of the x coordinate as we move along the line from point x1, y1 to x2, y2, which is by definition the slope of the line. To find the y intercept of this line, we put x equals 0 and get y equals minus c upon b. Therefore, 1. Slope of ax plus by plus c equals 0 is minus a upon b, which equals minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of y. 2. Y intercept of this line is minus c upon b which equals minus constant term upon coefficient of y. The general equation ax plus by plus c equals 0 can also be written as by equals minus ax minus c. Now, provided b is not equal to 0, you may divide both sides of the equation. by is equal to minus ax minus c by b and rewrite the general equation in the form of y equals minus a upon bx minus c upon b denoting minus a upon b which is nothing but the slope of the line as m and minus c upon b which is nothing but the y-intercept of the line as c. The above equation can be expressed as y is equal to mx plus c. We have rewritten the general form of the line with b not equal to 0 into a form in which left hand side is just y 
and the coefficient of variable x on the right hand side, the slope of the line while the constant term on the right hand side is the y intercept of the line. This particular form of equation of a straight line is thus known as the slope intercept form. Take for example the equation of a straight line 2x minus 3y plus 8 is equal to 0. This equation is in the general form and not the slope intercept form. This is because right hand side is 0. We can convert the equation into point slope form using the following steps. Page 26, 1. First add in brackets minus 2x minus 8 on both sides of the equation to eliminate the constant and the x term from the left hand side. 2x minus 3y plus 8 is equal to 0 which implies 2x minus 3y plus 8 plus in brackets minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0 plus in brackets minus 2x minus 8. Thus we get minus 3y is equal to minus 2x minus 8. 2. Now dividing both sides by minus 3 we get minus 3y is equal to minus 2x minus 8 which implies y is equal to minus 2x by minus 3 minus 8 by minus 3 which means y is equal to 2x by 3 plus 8 by 3. We have managed to convert the equation in general form to its slope intercept form which is y is equal to 2 by 3x plus 8 by 3. Note that now you can easily read the slope and y intercept from this equation. Slope of this line is equal to 2 by 3 and y intercept is 8 by 3. Remember that we can also read the slope directly from the equation in general form 2x minus 3y plus 8 is equal to 0. It is always minus coefficient of x by coefficient of y which is equal to minus 2 by minus 3 which is equal to 2 by 3. Given a linear equation of the form y is equal to mx plus c if m is greater than 0 then line is upward sloping. If m is equal to 0 then line is perfectly flat. If m is less than 0 then line is downward sloping. From a linear equation of the form y is equal to mx plus c if c is greater than 0 then line intersects with the positive side of y axis. If c is equal to 0 then line passes through the origin. If c is less than 0 then line intersects with the positive side of y axis. Test your understanding. Refer back to test your understanding questions in module 3 and 4. A doctor has advised Kabir to consume only milk. How many units of milk can Kabir consume if he has rupees 50? Given the price of milk to be rupees 10 per unit and price of cookies to be rupees 5 per unit. Module 5 ends here. You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh Production Assistant Jagbandhu Jana Sound Recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan Artists Anandana Kapoor and Akash Ahuja Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India <laughs>